the secret of man is in the secret place the secret of man is in the place of power he that dwelleth there not he that visited there he that dwelleth in the secret place not he that comes there when he has a church service he that dwelleth in the secret place not he that goes to the secret because he has a crusade he that dwelleth in the secret place not he that goes to the secret because he has a revival coming he that dwelleth in the secret place not he that goes to the secret because he's believing God for a new dimension but he that dwells arise go to Bethel and dwell there is an instruction from the Almighty I have one life to live how can I pass through the sands of time and not make the impact that I should make I have one life to live how can I pass through the sands of time someone asked me you have one life to live revival came when people troubled heaven check all the moves of God every revival we see it was a it was a product of protracted pain is it the Azusa Street revival is it the Chaspanam revival every revival we see came as a result of protracted extended prolonged fervency velocity aggression of prayer let no one tell you to rest at this point am I communicating right now I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I have no shadow of doubt that this video is going to be a blessing to your life and your ministry. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, click the bell notification, and give me a thumbs up if you really like this video. Watch the full video next to this one. So the problem is not that you are lukewarm. You are prayerful. But you've been bankrupt of encounter. You've been bereft of the right encounter. You do not, you do not communicate fire to your people. You don't force them to love God. You don't even tell them to love God. Just be on fire. I can't remember sitting my children down. My biological children say, be on fire. No, they are just on fire because they see their father burning their mother burning they are just on fire because that's what they see that's the only thing they know am i speaking here that's the only thing they know this is the month of october i can count how many times this year i have sat down in my sitting room downstairs i don't think it's up to 12 or 15 times and if i'd sat down at all it's because i want to join them to pray am i speaking to somebody i was praying with a man of god we were praying together after a while i was lost in prayer when i opened my eyes i noticed he sat down he was looking at me and he was crying so i was worried so i rounded up my prayer what was the problem he said what is the matter I said, I don't understand. He said, what's the matter? I said, I don't understand, sir. He said, no, I'm worried. He said, what is the problem? I said, sir, I do not understand. I thought you were praying. He said, no. This one is not prayer. He said, I've been watching you five minutes, ten minutes, twenty minutes. You will get tired. 30, 40, 1 hour, 1 hour, 30 minutes. He said, I've just been watching you. Two hours. He said, I sat down. I started crying. My father, please do it for him, oh. Do it for him, oh. Do it for him, oh. I said, what? He said, even if I was God, there's no way I would say no. He said, I said, what? He said, did you see the ground sweat? Do you know this place was shaking? He said, why do you pray like that? I said to him, I said, I have one life to live. I can't go to herbalist. I can't go to native doctors. I can't arrange miracles. I can't pay anybody to sit on wheelchair. I am I don't have that kind of money. The only source I know is prayer. So I have to hold it with my life. There is no other key. Take your seat. 
there's no other way to get it done except the place of prayer I told them yesterday in the Bible study any hunter that goes hunting and comes back with a goat is not a hunter is a thief because you do not get goat in the bush you get goat at home so it's either he bought it or he stole it it's not a hunter is a thief anyone that preaches another gospel he said let him be a cost because this is the only one we know that's why we are conscious we are checking the errors of our fathers and knowing how to avoid them <laughs> am i talking to somebody here we are knowing how to avoid them so that ministry does not become a reproach in your hand so that you don't die in the midst of fame you don't expire in the midst of glory open my eyes I've always told them in our church I said before you somersault check where you are landing if you land on a stone that is the end so you must look back before you backflip am I communicating here? lift your right hand lift your right hand lift your right hand before we continue say in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost my eyes are open take your seat was standing so no wonder the fasting no wonder the praying you know there's something that worries me it worries me it has worried me but lately I began to get the cure for it when I hear some ministers die tragically genuine men of God just die it worried me genuine men of God bed reading it worried me but also I saw men of God who are so worrying Pastor WF Kumuyi is 80 he's doing crusades at 80 in fact he's more active now than 10 years ago some of you don't understand why don't know why when you finish you go if you don't want to go be working not this sponsors longevity like activity paul said <laughs> you know one day i had bishop david gossip and bishop david Gilbert was talking about the later bishop he said the archbishop called his wife one time and said everything god said i should do i have finished it that was the week he died and he told the wife said, i finished everything god said i should do and the wife said please um, let me meet you i'm coming so when they told bishop david about it he said what did he say he said he has finished so bishop said no problem i won't finish i will i have not finished so the beauty 50,000 now is building a hundred thousand or a 150,000 seater how many hundred is building a hundred thousand seater it's good huh yes okay whatever and this building you just keep walking so I understood I was asking the Lord this man is moved from crusade to at 80 You are just in your 40s. You are buying book on rest. <laughs> 45, you are buying book on rest. May you not be late to rest. <laughs> Auto. <laughs> you are buying book on rest. 45, you are going on vacation. You are buying book on rest <laughs> and you are listening to men who are telling you rest at this age did they rest when they were your age did 
they relax when they were your age you are reading books on rest you are reading book the books that tells you take it easy you are reading books that tells you you just have to be calm and just take it slowly child of god you have one life to live revival came when people troubled heaven check all the moves of god every revival we see it was a it was a product of protracted pain is it the azusa street revival is it the chasparam revival every revival we see came as a result of protracted extended prolonged fervency velocity aggression of prayer let no one tell you to rest at this point am i communicating right now I was talking to my father in the Lord about something about fasting and I said to him I said daddy in those days hundred days hundred days was so was nothing for me nothing I said but today these days before you know it you will stumble into one program consciously or consciously everybody's around you you have eaten something you have drank something you do 40 days you do 40 days you want to do 100 120 you can't anymore I say I don't know daddy you know just 40 days here and there 40 days one month and he said ah, that's bad eh? he said that's bad eh daddy 40 he said no 40 who does 40 <laughs> and I'm holding this I'm holding microphone standing behind the pulpit Don't take it easy. It takes a lion heart to get a lion share. Don't take it easy. Don't take it easy. Don't take it easy. You can't be sleeping when church is not growing. Don't take it easy. You cannot be sleeping when you ministered a whole service. No testimony. Don't take it easy. And you say, who has a testimony? Nobody stood up. Don't take it easy. Sunday to Sunday, month to month, no manifestation. Don't take it easy. React and rebel. Something has to be displaced. Satan has been standing on your right hand for too long. Satan! I was walking to this building when we were building the tent. And there was a child, a nine-year-old child that has never walked. He had polio. Okay, he walked when it was a couple of months. And he had polio and had never walked. The bones were twisted. The legs was carved. And I was entering to inspect what was going on. And the protocol were yeah, all over the mother, blinking her here and there. But she held on to that child. And as I was walking, the mother, as she was, she was on the floor, screaming, held the baby, the child. As was the problem. He said, that is your son. Eh? My son. No, in this generation, you have to be careful. So I stopped. I said, My, I would, normally I would have just gone ahead I had to define it because there are people standing around me I said my son where yeah, how he said that is your son oh my son he said yes oh yes oh we are Omega children uh -huh. he said they say your son has polio the letter up grown up child looked at the bone and I carried the child I said this child does not have polio I dropped the child he started walking because I located it I located it I located it I located do you know what the Bible says about faith have you read different translations on faith Hebrews 11 1 have you read the translations on faith 
verse Hebrews 11 verse 1 have you read that translations on faith this is the King James go and bring all other translation there is something I want to point out to somebody go and bring all other translation go and bring all other translations go it says the fundamental fact of our existence is this is that this trust in God the faith is the firm foundation under everything that makes life worth living is our handle on what we can see give me another translation give me another translation give me another translation it says now faith brings our hope into reality and becomes the foundation needed to acquire things we long for is the evidence of all the evidence required to prove what's still unseen give me another one there is something i am looking for give me another one give me another one there is something i'm looking for give me another one look at me i got it now faith is the assurance the title deed the title deed do you know what a title deed is when you buy a property the title deed is the document that transfers that property from the name of the former owner to your name is so faith is the document that transfers from the spiritual into the physical and puts it in my hand is the title deed so if you want a healing you must get the document the legal backing that puts your name on the property that puts your name on that thing you desire for faith is the substance the substance not the mere wish the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen for by it the elders obtained a good report through faith we understand that the world we are framed at the word of God so that things which we are seen are not made of things which do appear by faith Abel offered a more excellent sacrifice than Cain that which he obtained the witness that he was righteous he said God testifying of his gift that he he been dead yet speak it by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death for before his translation he had the testimony that he pleased God for without faith it's impossible to please God for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him by faith Noah be one of God of things not seen as yet move with fear and prepared an ark for the saving of his house by which he condemned the world and he became an heir of righteousness which is by faith by faith Abraham when he was called out to go into a place of promise he said you went out he sojourn with Isaac and Jacob heirs of the same promise in a strange land he saved because he looked forward towards a city that had foundation which builder and maker is God by faith Sarah he said when she was past the age she received strength to conceive seed he said and she judged God faithful who has promised therefore sprang one even of him as good as dead as the stars of the skies in multitude and the sand of the seashore innumerable these all died in faith not having received the promise but they were persuaded and they that they were strangers and pilgrims of the earth they that said such thing declare plainly that they seek a city for if they have been mindful of the country from where they came they must have another opportunity to have returned for now they desire a country which is unheavenly wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God because he has prepared for them a city faith is the title deed is the document encounter that sets me on the wavelength <laughs> an encounter one time John G Lake's wife husband wife at the middle of the night woke up and saw the husband crying by the bed sobbing 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 you say why are you sobbing why are you sobbing my love why are you sobbing what has happened she said go back to bed 
he was crying he was weeping he was crying he said why are you sobbing he said ministry ministry the wife said but you are doing well he said you have five thousand members he said that is the problem i have five thousand members who majority of their problems i cannot solve i have five thousand members who majority of their needs i cannot meet i have five thousand members who some are not married i have five thousand members who some are jobless i have five thousand members who some have no babies i have five thousand members who some are losing their family i am crying that where is god empower me to solve their problems empower me to meet their needs it's not about having a crowd how many needs am i meeting how many of them are excited that i am solving their problems